What's going on everybody and welcome to the channel. Today we are checking out a solar powered motion sensor outdoor security light. It is the BNT800. It has IP66 waterproofing and it is constructed out of an aluminum alloy shell. It is very solid and it is very well made. It has a heavy duty watertight power on and off push button switch on the back of the solar panel. So you can actually turn it off when you don't want it to activate. It also looks very much like a security camera. So it sort of doubles as a visual theft deterrent as well. It is very easy to install anywhere around the house thanks to the multi-angle adjustable three-way fixture and the two-way adjustable fixture for the solar panel. The motion detection passive infrared sensor is good for up to 26 feet distance and the 5 watt 800 lumens LED lights illuminate a small backyard or walkway with a 120 degree field of range. The solar panel measures in at 3 inches by 5 inches and is capable of charging up the replaceable 3.7 volt 1500 milliamp lithium ion 18650 battery in about 5 to 6 hours. Once fully charged, it will last in low mode for 40 hours. It will automatically charge during the daytime and the auto motion sensor kicks in at night. The life expectancy of the battery is about one year and eight months at which time it should be replaced. Now it comes out of the box fully assembled and has a bit of charge in it already so it is ready to use but it is recommended that you charge it for a couple of days to fully charge the battery. All right, so here we are in the immediate backyard area where the swimming pool is, the enclosed backyard. And I've decided to put one of these solar lights right underneath of the rain gutter here. And it fits over here pretty good. Now it is facing the west, the solar panel that is. So the sun is setting on that side. So it will get a pretty good amount of afternoon sunlight coming from here all the way down there. So that'll be about good five, six hours and is facing directly towards the west. I have barely enough space over here to hang it without hitting the rain gutter. So it is just perfectly placed here facing directly west. And that will illuminate this area right here as I'm going towards this fence at night to unlock it. I am completely blind unless I turn on the lights from inside the house right here behind that door there's a switch to turn on this light but sometimes I don't get to it and I just walk out of the backyard and I want to come towards this gate to unlock it so that will illuminate this whole area as you can see here the light is directly facing this area here to brighten it up I do also have a light lamp over there but I need to go over there to turn it on so it will help me to illuminate wherever I'm going when the sun is down and it is completely dark. And it will kind of secure that door if somebody jumps over or something like that, then the light will automatically turn on. Okay, so once this light gets activated, that will illuminate this whole area right here, which is the dark spot. So when I'm walking towards the gate to unlock, I will be able to see my keys and unlock the padlock that locks this gate. And once it is unlocked and I go outside, right here, I do have a security lamp on the side of the house. This light is really, really bright and it will illuminate this whole area up to all the way up around that shed here. So it's really bright and I don't need any security light here. But as I'm walking down this hill, in the backyard i do have another shed on the bottom of that hill and there is no light whatsoever so i've decided to place the second security light it is dusk and the sun is going down right on top of the door of the shed here and it is pointing 
to that direction. So it has a motion sensor detector that is good for 26 feet. So hopefully by the time I come to right about here or so, the light will activate and shine the way to the backyard because at night there is absolutely no light and it is pretty dark over here. So it gets a little scary at times. So I put the solar panel angled and you are able to adjust the solar panel in an angle like so so it will maximize the sunlight during the day here all the way when the sun rises above the house and the sun will set behind the shed so it will pretty much gather up at least six seven hours of daylight so it will charge up the battery quite nicely so i'm just going to wait until it comes completely dark and we'll do a walkthrough to see whether or not these security lights will help me provide some vision during the night. All right, so here we are and the sun has gone down. It is still slightly bright enough for me to see around, but it is starting to get pretty dark. So here is the first solar light right underneath of the rain gutter. And there is a low mode LED that is turned on and check it out. It just sensed my presence and it detected me and the light is now turned on. So let's go ahead and check it out here. So as you can see, now we are able to see the path that I want to walk and it is just perfect. It brightens up this whole area. Now I'm looking at my recording device, my phone, um, it is darker than what I am looking at with my naked eye and the light has just turned off So it stays on for about 30 seconds and it turns off. So there's a low mode light and let me go ahead and walk around here and There you go. The light just turned on and it is illuminating this whole area And there's my shadow I'm walking away from it and there's the light I'm walking away from it and here's the gate which is still pretty dark on the camera but I am able to see it very clearly with my naked eye and the light has just turned off all right so let's make our way back towards the light so we are pr pretty much about maybe 30 feet away so let's go on over towards the light now to see how soon it activates and I'm about 15 feet away. It hasn't still detected my presence. So I'm about 10 feet away now. And it still didn't detect my presence yet. Going towards it. And now it activated finally. And I'm pretty close to it. Maybe about 7, 8 feet away. So that 26 feet of passive infrared detection is not working on this one not that far away i had to go towards it to about seven or eight feet and it turned on so i'm going to stand here about 15 feet away from it and see if the light turns off after 30 seconds and it, yes it did turn off after 30 seconds and I, here i am moving around and it did not catch me maybe it is not dark enough yet so we'll check it out a little bit later but i'm walking towards it and here we are at about seven feet away and it has just turned on. Okay, so turning around and going towards the gate there. Looks pretty dark, but actually it is very well illuminated all the way throughout here in the backyard. And there's the pool and there's the light. Okay, here's the gate. I'm walking through the gate and up on the side of the house that security light here that big lamp it is pretty bright and it illuminates this whole backyard pretty well all the way throughout towards the back and there's a shadow casted by this shed here and i'm walking down the hill now and there's the other security light so that's the low mode turned on so we are able to still see a little bit around there so let me go down the hill and I'm walking towards it. It has not illuminated yet and I'm walking towards it. Man, I wish it illuminated right now so I can see, but the low mode light 
should be pretty decent so you need to come very close and this one I needed to come about oh, 10 maybe 11 12 feet away maybe about 12 feet away and it has illuminated it is hung a little bit higher and it is pointing directly at this location here this direction that is so there you go that's the full-on brightness so it does illuminate this whole area and I'm pointing my camera towards the ground so it's right here it's pretty well illuminated and there's the other shed right there so it's pretty decent it is illuminating this whole area and it just turned off has been 30 seconds so let me go to the side of the camera here there's the camera there is the low mode light that just stays on I assume all night until the sunlight comes up so let me go in front of it here and it has activated okay so now I am able to see where I'm going so pretty decent I would say so there you have it guys the testing of the VNT 800 outdoor security light outdoor solar security light okay so here we are once again and it is completely dark now I have to turn on the swimming pool light to orient where I am so I'm walking towards the swimming pool here and there's the security camera right in the middle of the screen that little white speck of light and I'm turning towards the front of it you can see the LEDs and there you go it has recognized my movement and it is turned on so now we are able to see a little bit more on the right so I'm walking towards the gate here and it is pretty bright with the naked eye with the camera it is pretty dark here so there's the locking mechanism here the hinge the door lock for the gate and we are walking outside once again and there's a security light on the side of the house illuminating the side yard and I'm making my way down the hill it is pretty fairly well illuminated all the way down here and I make the turn and there's the shed uh, you see two lights in the middle of the screen the one now directly in the middle that is the shed light and the one on that side is my neighbor's light all the way on the other side there so walking towards the shed and the security light I'm about let's say about 20 feet away from it it is not activating yet maybe about 15 feet now okay, I'm getting towards close to about 10 feet away from the light and finally when I walk directly in front of it it turns on okay it's pretty bright because it is pretty dark out here so let's see I'm on the other side of the security light and it does brighten up the walkway quite a bit now I'm able to walk down here pretty reasonably with good vision but it took a little while before the light illuminated and detected my movement and now the light has turned off so 30 seconds later the light turns off and I'm walking towards the front of the light in the middle of the screen and it should come on yes it has detected my movement and it is turning on so even though it is completely dark it does uh, activate when you're about good 10 feet away from the light 10 to 12 feet away from the um, light or the sensor the passive infrared sensor all right so that is another test with this security camera in complete darkness so i'm moving towards the front and there you go once again it turns on 
All right, so that is another test. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably just going to leave this one just the way it is, but I'm probably going to replace or relocate the other one because I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so here we are back in the enclosed area. And while well, we were doing some hot tubbing a little while ago, and because the proximity to the hot tub to where the, I located the light is pretty close. So every time we moved around in the hot tub, the security light will go off. So that is not a good location for it. So as you can see, if I'm walking close to the hot tub here, the security light just went on. So I'm probably gonna relocate the security light from here. I'm gonna move it to about there right above that water heater door right about there so when we are in the hot tub it will not get activated right so you have to kind of pull around uh, its location and angle to find out exactly how you want the security light to turn on and off to your desired effect all right, so instead of here, I'm going to move it down here so it'll be closer to the gate. So it will illuminate the gate even more. All right, there you go, guys. The BMT 800 Solar Powered Outdoor Security Light. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you again next time.